So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my experience starting out doing YouTube. So just like a lot of people who wanted to start doing something like this, it took a lot of convincing on my part to convince myself that maybe this would be a good idea, maybe this would be fun to at least try. I don't know if I'd be good at it, but maybe we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Now I'll admit in the beginning it was a little bit scary. I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about. I wasn't sure if my idea of a sense of humor would be funny to other people. I'm not sure if my philosophies or other things that I had been talking about in previous videos would be interesting to other people. I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna start and see what happens. And in the first three weeks of me even starting out doing videos, I made a plan for myself to say, I'm gonna get a base of about 20 videos and then put out a channel. Why did I do that though? So for me, I just wanted to be able to have enough material or enough content to say to myself, this is good, this is not, I can pick and choose and kind of give myself, I guess, kind of give myself an equilibrium of different styles to say, you know what, this worked, this didn't, and this is where I sit right now. So within those first 20 videos, I had some that are really serious, some that are pretty much insane. <laughs> some of them that are just, I don't know, some kind of cute, I guess. Like I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just wanted to show my personality and see where it went. I didn't really have an idea of what videos I wanted to do as far as the names of them or exactly the style, just whatever came out, came out. And when I was making those first 20 videos, I didn't really decide to myself, you know what? This is what's gonna work. This is what's gonna be interesting to certain people. I just started going and then over time, one of the things that kept me motivated to do it is the fact that I saw myself getting better. I look at my 20th video, back to my first video, and I see a pretty big difference as far as how I present myself, how comfortable I am on camera. Like. <laughs> The first time I actually did a video, I wrote out a script because I didn't know what to say. Like I'm sure if you're somebody that's ever tried to do a YouTube video, the second you turn on the camera, your mind just goes blank. You don't know what to say. You might stand in front of the camera or sit in front of the camera for a good three to five minutes and say nothing. That was me too. Everybody that's ever tried doing something like this, it was so incredibly awkward. Like for me, the first 20 videos I made, I, I know for a fact that I had no audience. I didn't post them to anything. They weren't on YouTube. Nobody had ever seen them. So in actuality, <laughs> I say actuality, all the time. But in actuality, I was talking to no one. There was no one, there's nobody here, obviously. There was no view counter going up on anything. Nobody commenting saying good job or bad job. Nobody sharing anything. It was just a leap of faith, I guess. But honestly, the thing is, I don't feel like I need people to like my stuff for me to enjoy doing something that I want to do. It also goes along with me even doing music. Like if you've been following me on Snapchat or even Instagram, or if you know me personally, I've been doing music for about nine years now. I was in a metal band, believe it or not, for seven of those nine years. And then just in the last two years, I decided to go solo and start doing more acoustic and pop type of stuff. Just kind of change it up. For a long time, this was my main guitar. You can tell I got a lot of use out of it because I have like, this is actually, a, <laughs> this is not dirt. This is where the paint has come off because I played it that much. Same with over here, just from literally playing all the time and I bring that up because playing the style of music that I was playing before I did it because I liked it I didn't do it because anybody else would be impressed I didn't do it to get famous I so it was something that I enjoyed and as long as I enjoyed it I could spend hours there's a point in time I was spending between 8 to 10 hours a day playing guitar <laughs> Of course, that was more like in the high school days for me, but honestly, like I didn't play video games. I didn't really go out and party and drink and do all that kind of stuff very much. I just came home from school and played guitar every single day. That's all I did, it's all I cared about. And I did it because I enjoyed it. That's what it boils down to. You just gotta enjoy what you're doing. Like even for this, this is something very new for me. Like to be honest, I don't think I'm even very far into doing YouTube to say this is my experience because it hasn't even really been a month. But I have covered a lot in this time. There's a point, there's a point in time three weeks ago that I just wanted to start doing YouTube and it didn't matter what anybody else thought. A lot of the time people are worried that I they don't want to do something like this. I don't want to seem awkward or weird or strange in front of people because they're worried about what people are going to say or what they're going to think. Honestly, I was prepared for the worst. I was actually looking forward to having negative comments or haters or people telling me that I'm a loser or an idiot for doing this because genuinely I just find that funny. Based on pretty much nothing, you have a negative outlook towards me, which is fine. So far it actually hasn't happened, which I think is it's good, I suppose. Like. I'm not upset that nobody thinks that what I've done is stupid, but I've actually had a lot of people give me very positive feedback of how a lot of my friends message me. Some people I haven't talked to in years saying like the stuff that you're saying is really cool, really interesting. Some of the deep topics I've talked about before, like I've had friends I haven't talked to in maybe four or five years hit me up and say that it's really awesome, super 
I guess not proud, like, I guess, yeah, I guess they, I guess you could say they're proud of me, or, like, they're encouraging me to continue, like, they had no idea that this was a side of me that was even possible to see. But I guess that's just me, like, I enjoy reinventing myself. Like, even with going from the metal music to the pop music, the first album I ever wrote in the more of a pop style, I called it Wait For No One. The reason why I called it Wait For No One is that was my idea. I'm gonna jump out there and just do whatever I have to do for myself. I don't need permission from somebody, I don't need to get other people in involved for no reason because I've learned that by trying to get people involved in your vision, if they aren't a hundred percent lined up with you, it's going nowhere. You're not gonna get what you want to do. Like you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get it done. And I know this because in the time that I was in the band, in that time we had only played about four shows. Four shows in seven years is very, very bad, honestly. Now that I've actually been on my own doing my own solo thing, I put out this CD. I'm working on a second album of my own as well right now. My first CD has 10 songs that are all original obviously and I've played multiple coffee houses at McMaster University. I've done stuff at Mohawk College. I've played a couple different bars in Hamilton. I'm not sure who's gonna see this, but I was the guy that was busking out in front of Cayley House or by Sidebar in Hess Village three times a week, every single weekend for the entire summer. And once again, that was another one of those things that I just wanted to do. I just enjoyed making people smile. I enjoyed having a good time with people. People would take requests and we would play. Maybe some nights where we'd start at midnight and we wouldn't finish till 4.30 in the morning. But we did it because we loved it. I actually partnered up with another guy and it was actually him originally that was busking on his own but I asked him if I could play with him and we would just do that kind of thing together and, and it turned into a thing it was really it was really fun it was enjoyable so anyways going back to doing YouTube or why I'm doing any of this is I feel like I have a lot of things to share with people I do a lot of thinking on my own I do a lot of writing on my own whether it's lyrics or spoken word or just philosophies I do a lot of thinking so with that I'm like you know what why not bring my ideas to the exterior world and just see what happens I'm not necessarily doing this for anybody else it's just something for me to do for myself and I enjoy it. But ultimately, I guess the take home message for yourself, if you're someone who is watching this and you've always wanted to try and do anything new, it doesn't have to necessarily be YouTube, but just realize and understand that like maybe if you see my other videos and you think this guy's like super confident, like he's been doing this for a really long time, I haven't, honestly. I just decided to pick it up and start learning. So if you are someone who has tried to do this before and you just stand in front of the camera for about, it might even be five minutes to 10 minutes and you say nothing and you just turn the camera off because you know what, today's not the right day. I'm not feeling it today. I've been there as well. Like right now I've been talking for about 15 minutes, something like that, and I don't have a script. I'm just literally talking. This is me being real right now. And honestly, I think one of the ways that I've gotten a lot of my ideas is just through having conversations with people, really paying attention, analyzing and saying, you know what, this would be a good topic to talk about. And not every single topic that I talk about is funny and they're not always serious either. It's a, it's a mixture of both. Like if you look at my channel, for example, it is just a mixture. Whatever I think would be interesting, I'll do. And so for yourself, if you're someone that wants to start doing something like this, don't limit yourself to saying, I can't post something like that because it's not funny. I can't post something like this because it's too deep or it wouldn't suit my my channel. As soon as you start pigeonholing yourself or as soon as, as soon as you think these are certain there's only certain styles of videos that I can do, that's when you lose. Honestly, one of my favorite YouTubers right now to watch is named Comedy Shorts Gamer. So if you've never heard of this guy, you should check him out. I'll put a link in the description or I'll just put his name right here actually. And this guy has uploaded over a thousand videos. So to me, a thousand videos seems insane. Like how is that possible to have a thousand different ideas? It's not even like a thousand planned out different ideas was a structure and a script and planned out jokes and all this stuff. It's just that he enjoys what he does. He loves to make people smile. And so he uploads literally every day. But honestly, it's something that he loves. Slowly, this is becoming something that I love to do as well. And within those thousands of videos that he has, he's got gaming videos, he's got serious topics, he's got vlog type videos, he's got just a mixture of everything. So he would be a pretty good example of somebody to try and not necessarily copy, but maybe learn from. Just to say, you know what? Maybe I don't have to be as serious or professional professional as I think I do to enjoy doing it because as much as YouTube might be for the viewer to watch it also has to be enjoyable for you to do as well because if you think if you have to do it and it feels like work you're not going to want to do it if you think you have to do this in an attempt to get a million subscribers or be getting a million views on all of your videos and you're looking up different ways to do like strategies and stuff like that and the main goal for you is to make money you're probably not going to want to do this for very long like for me <laughs> right now I have this will be my 25th video and I think I have 14 subscribers like yeah, well done. <sighs> but honestly, for me, it's not about getting a million subscribers. This is just something I, I feel like it's fun. That's 
honestly that's it i invested a bit of money into some nice equipment and i decided you know what <laughs> let's just go but anyways yeah that's it for this video this is kind of a longer video but like as much as i do like to play up to a camera and be crazy or anything like that it's also nice to just kind of have a more chill relaxed video and get to know each other you know what i mean so maybe if this is a video that you have enjoyed or you've taken something away from it honestly i really do enjoy when people share my videos or leave comments on them or post them to facebook or twitter or anything like that because it lets me know that what i'm doing people do enjoy it so for me it's not about the number it's the fact that people are actually interested that's that's what i like that's what gives me it's not necessarily that it gives me motivation but it, it i i guess it's, a, it's motivation in a sense it just makes me happy knowing that what i'm doing makes other people happy does that make sense but anyways guys let me know what you think of this video like if you like just kind of listening to me talk or does anything like that it's a little bit more relaxed like i said before maybe i'll do some more stuff like this this is very off the cuff i didn't plan out anything i'm gonna say i just decided you know what this is how i'm feeling right now and maybe i'll give you guys an update so until next time i'll see you <laughs> later peace I'm not entirely sure how these people always just end up in the exact same place, like how Walmart is like a homing beacon for just crazy people, but this is just a little collection of some of the things I've found. I don't know how this happened. I'm pretty sure this is wrong.